God looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any who understand, who seek God. Psalm 53, verse 2. As it was in the time of the psalmist, it is today. It seems that most people have no interest in seeking God's word and truth. Instead, we see people who openly mock all people of faith. There are entire groups dedicated not to seeking any sort of truth, but merely in mocking and degrading those who do with sneers and vile jokes. We see people who attack people of faith. These attacks come in many forms. There are those who deny God altogether, such as a group of women who violently attacked a church in San Juan in 2013. They descended upon the cathedral in San Juan in a violent frenzy, mocking and vandalizing not only the church, but the people who had gathered to pray and to protect the church from their attacks. I will provide a link to the story, but be forewarned, it is vile and truly disturbing. Sadly, this is only one incident of many that I could describe. There are those who preach a perverted form of violence in the name of their twisted version of God, such as the militant and violent ISIL in the Middle East. The brutalities there seem endless. The expulsion of the Assyrian Christians, the beheading of the Coptic Christians, priceless offered for Yazidi and other Christian women that they were selling. This list was found to be authentic by the human rights NGO Defend International, sadly not a hoax. The beheadings of Ethiopian Christians in Libya. The list is too long to enumerate all of the atrocities here. And there are those who stand by and allow these attacks to continue without protesting them. Too many in the media and international organizations that are supposed to be dedicated to peace and protection allow these incidents to go unremarked. But what can we do in the face of such acts? The psalmist has the answer for this. Seek God. Yes, evil things happen in the world, but we have a Lord and Messiah who fully entered into the human condition and suffered the greatest of all evils in order to deliver us from eternal suffering and death. So we can pray. We can call attention to these actions and not allow the media to turn a blind eye. While social media and the internet have been used to mock and degrade people of faith, they have also been a wonderful source of communication that bypasses the gatekeepers who would otherwise keep this information from the general public. We can seek God and ask him for guidance, wisdom, and a path to help others. We can live our faith in daily life by earnestly seeking to do good in whatever little ways we can. Seek 